All right, well, hopefully this is running now. Let's take a look back at the stream. There's unmuted, game muted, game unmuted. Whew. <coughs> I'm all dying and shit. Cool, I am online. What's up, guys? We're going to cheat the fuck out of some Armored Core 2. Let me just very quickly set it up. And then I'm going to grab myself some. Nine, 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 nine. There we go. Apply. I'm going to start it up, start the opening cinematic, and then my ass is going to go grab some water. Because I need some water. All right, y'all should be able to hear it. There it is. Let's move it over just a little bit so you guys can see a little more of it. That works for me. All right. So this is going to be Armored Core 2. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite games. It's good. It's good. If I do it like that, yeah. Uh, oh boy, that's incredibly loud for me. Hopefully it's not so for you guys, if you guys want to give me a heads up on how it sounds. I'm going to go grab some water while you guys watch this actually kind of sick opening cutscene. Be right back. Should be good. All right, so this is Armored Core 2. Uh, it was one of my all-time favorite games. It was released on the PlayStation 2. Uh, it had an expansion pack came out called Another Age. Yeah, Another Age. Um, if and when we get through this, we'll play that because it's actually a really cool add-on. Ah, shit, delicious water. Um, just so you are all aware, the purpose of this stream is not to do... No, we don't want you to start up again. No, 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 bad. Bad. Stop it! The purpose of this stream is to cheat. That's why the stream, when I actually update the goddamn information, there we go is called How to Cheat. Um, one of the cool things about this game uh, was it actually became easier the more you sucked at it, but you had to hit certain thresholds. And basically the way that would work is if you lost all your money um, to the point that you went bankrupt, you would get a game over screen and it would unlock a new... Um, non difficulty setting basically where your 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 thing had more perks um armored core 2 is a mech piloting and mech 
building game uh, made by From Software. Uh, this was one of the games they were famous for. Uh, <clears throat> shit, well before, well before Dark Souls. Um, I think even not before Kingsfield, but um, maybe around the same time. Um, but it's it's a great franchise, and I hope they come out with new ones soon. They're, they've always been kind of middling in terms of... God, how do I describe this? They've always been kind of middling in terms of... Like, the gameplay. Not even the gameplay, but, like, a lot of the missions kind of suck. And you'll see what I mean when we get into this. I'm not trying to be offensive, I swear. Ha 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 ha. Earth year 223. Um, but they've always had cool concepts, the and they've always the been like tuners' the dreams when it comes to mankind was like forced underground. actual mecha and stuff. It's been pretty cool. But with the discovery of the pre-war Mars immigration project, the human race. Uh, the first game was on PlayStation. I'd never played it. Um, the age of conflict in the apparently world it was, was pretty good, over. enough to warrant and the newly established five sequels and ten expansions of the at this point. Environment <laughs> its priority. Emigration to Mars was encouraged, but this influx of settlers posed a threat to law and order on the Red Planet. They give you kind of a basic background. Um, Corporations you're basically that were all a mercenary in this the game, era and lost their foothold the story the is not created. It's not there but until right planet, at the very end, and it's like it's all been leading up to this, and it's like no, they no, discovered it, opportunities no, it hasn't. To regain their strength. Nope. <laughs> oh shit! Man, I'm looking forward to getting into this. So. We have to fail in order to um, get through this. You've got a mail. I got a mail for you. <laughs> Anyways, you have to fail um, and go bankrupt. I believe it's a total of eight times in order to get everything you need. Look at this guy. This mission will test your abilities. Listen to this voice acting. Look at the mechs. They actually look. The test is even simple. the basic mech looks kind all of badass. All you have to do is destroy all MTs that have entered this region. Should you succeed, you will be registered as a Raven in the arena. All right. The arena thing is important, and I'll talk more about that later. It's gonna fail, freeze. Die. Pause really quick here, because I am loading. Uh, specific setup for the controller here. There we go. Um, I'll accompany you this game was server, before dual stick controls were popularized. Mind. Um, so I've had to basically do here custom bindings to my completely legitimate PlayStation 2 controller um, and custom System bind a lot of keys um, in order to control it with dual sticks. Go. The combat in this game is actually a lot of fun. Uh, there are parts that could be better, but overall. Ooh, I get both of those. The. Uh, oh shit, I overheated myself. The movement controls feel really good, like there's, yeah, um, I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say, god damn it, um, but like the turning speed is kind of a pain in the ass, and I mean that's understandable considering the fact that you're piloting a mech, I can't do any boosting because I, uh, overheated my engines or my boosters. Um, you can control and customize almost every every part of this thing. Um, the weapon selection is kind of limited. I mean, there's great variety for, you know, an early generation PlayStation 2 game. 
Uh, but compared to some later games and um, games that appeared on the uh, 360 and PlayStation 3, take them out. Um, yeah. So you are a super elite pilot of of a mech called an armored core. There's other types of mechs and other types of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess uh, military hardware in this game that still exists. You know, like still tanks and ships and stuff. Congratulations. From now on, you are a raven. The turning speed was better. Using the uh, uh, melee would be a lot more viable. I mean, you still can in this game, but... All right, so we are now a raven. And I'm kind of sure you'll never have to do that ever again. So here's your basic menu. Uh, you've got the garage where you can assemble a robot, depository, uh, like check what's in your inventory, um, and then just do a lot of customization here. Uh, you've got the arena where Paraplegic will fight his way through 50 opponents, actually 49 opponents, I believe. Um, the arena is a really good way to break the game, and I'll explain more about that later. Um, you've got the shop where you can buy all kinds of everything for your armored core here. Um, you'll be spending a fair amount of time in there. Uh, you've got your system, uh, your mail, which is where you get uh, story stuff, I guess. So, like, welcome, Raven. Welcome to Mars. Here you'll perform various missions as a raven registered with the Nerves Concord. Uh, we look forward to working with you. Under the terraforming project, the Martian environment is beginning to approximate that of Earth's. And as Martian society matures, conflicts over controls are becoming fierce. The planet is therefore in a state of constant turmoil. For a raven, it is an ideal deal setting. The amount of work available to you is limited only by your abilities. Uh, another thing, as on Earth, arenas for ravens exist on Mars, and all ravens must be registered with an arena. Your registration is already complete. Your current ranking reflects your status as a new raven. Advancement through the ranks rests solely on your shoulders. We will contact you periodically, so remember to check your mail. Good luck. King Thunder in the chat asks if this is my first Armored Core game or if I have played other entries. Uh, this is the first Armored Core game I have ever played. Um, I have played several other Armored Core games since. I think I might have played all of them at some point after this one, but I still come back to this one as my favorite. All right, from Nell Otler. Hello, Raven, I'm Nell Al Alter, excuse me, a liaison manager for the Nerves Concord. I'm responsible for your managerial duties, including blah, 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 you take care of my shit. On a parting note, some birds can fly and others cannot. This is the only truth in your existence. I pray you'll have the ability to translate better. Ha ha ha. Anyway, um, so you've got that, and then you've got your mission menu here. Uh, the mission menu. Prototype see, MTs this are This is the one I want. No, this is not. This is the one I want, I believe. Your mission menu is where you're going to accept we missions from. Quest through from surveillance. We've learned attack only the vehicle. I don't like have. I don't think either one of these is the one I want. Anyways, you accept missions from the major corporations, the major players on Mars. There. Um. And that's where your main story progression is. The arena is separate to that, and the arena is a great way to make money. Um, huh? AC detected nearby. So, like I said, we're cheating. Raven. Ah, uh, damn it! They found out. It is my intention to lose. All units converge on the Raven. Make sure our contact is protected. So be aware. System engaged. I'm going to be dying and I'm going to be doing it on purpose here. So I'm basically going to stand in the middle of these guys and let them shoot me. Now let me stand up on top of the hill. Kill me! I'm doing a fairly 
good job. Come on, heat me up. Shoot me. Was I just standing on that? Oh, look at these guys fuck me up. So those are not armored cores. I think armored cores are... are uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I think armored cores are kind of like supposed to be like basically a super advanced model of what... Did one of them got get... They're all getting shot by their buddies. Um, I think armored cores are supposed to be like the most advanced versions of mecha that exist, but there's older versions that exist as well. Um, so if I remember correctly, what I need to lose is 50,000 credits. So it'll take... Uh, probably five or six missions. This is the mission I want. Head to the open. We have no idea. Eliminate all. This area is very high in temperature. King due Thunder to says MT stands for Muscle Tracer. Man, you really know your stuff, dude. That's cool. So this mission for what we're doing. Um, is the best because you can just jump in the lava and pretty much immediately die while getting shot at. Uh, it's a raven. Once All I units jump in the has changed. Attack. Once I jump in the lava here, um, I will go over what the uh, what the fail state gets you each time because uh, I'd opened up a guide just to make sure. System engaged. I'm the best pilot. Oh no. This is not how it's supposed to happen. Okay. Watch your step. So, every time you fail, basically, um, you get basically regenerated as a human. Uh, the first time, you automatically get a radar with missile display installed. The second time, you get what is called a laser blade wave, which is where you basically shoot out your laser in a wave. Uh, third time you get heat reduction, fourth time you're able to fire your back-mounted weapons while standing uh, or while moving. Uh, you would normally have to unpack your larger back-mounted weapons, um, but once you have that fourth enhancement, you don't have to. Here, I'm not worried about the mail. We'll see all of that later. Right now, just trying to run through this. All right, let's see. So the fifth time... Uh, you get half energy use, which is a huge one. That half energy use allows you basically to boost around or fire energy weapons for twice as long. Um, then there's a gap a after that, All and then mission priority has uh, once Attack. you hit the eighth enhancement or the eighth uh, game over, um, your cool your rate of cooling is double. Skip these cutscenes here. So that's what we're going for. Uh, this stream at least. We're going to try and get a game over two times. Watch your step. Yeah, Armored Core 3 is the other one I remember playing the most. Um, Armored Core 3 was pretty good, but something about this one just always stuck with me. It was always a ton of fun for me. Come on, burn! Kill me! There we go. No problem for the pilot at all. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Cool. All right, I think we're maybe one or two more away from... Actually, I think we're one more away. Perfect. Uh, according to King Thunder once again, thanks for hanging out, by the way, uh, you don't need Human Plus for firing back weapons when moving if you use quadruped legs or tank legs, which I don't... I use sometimes. Um... I, but I tend head to we have no idea. How do I want to say this area I tend not to usually. I tend to go with regular bipedal or uh, reverse joint legs. Um, I like the reverse joint legs a lot. Uh, I think they look cool. I think they they look cooler than like the quadruped legs. But I'll use quadruped or the super heavy tank legs. Or I'll use those for it's a raven. All units, mission uh, priority later has Later missions changed. where Attack. you're basically a turret sitting on top of something shooting at other stuff. I wonder if my mods are ever gonna show up. There we go. All right, burn me. Bridge is old and decayed. Watch your I don't know why I'm jumping out of here. I'm wasting time here. I 
Dead yet? Yeah! Dead! Oh my god! Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the sometimes the tank or the quadruped cores look really cool, but I think for the most part they do not. All right, here's your game over screen. You're gonna see this eight times before the stream is over. Let's see, the first time it took me 20 minutes to get to. Let's see if I can do it a lot faster. I'll be able to do it a lot faster this next time for sure. There we go. So they've decided I suck so much that they took me and experimented on me to make me better. Yep. All right, here we go. So we've screwed it up. We threw it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, we've lost the first time. Now we need to lose seven more times. Woohoo! I don't know why I chose this one again. I don't know if this one or the other one's faster, but whatever. Um. So the structure of this game is. Obviously, in order to get better parts huh? and to customize AC your, your AC, you have to purchase uh, new parts. Ah, damn it, Once you purchase out. the new parts, you attach or you you know use them to customize your thing. Um, All units converge the, on the arena is where make you make sure your money early on. System engaged. Right, let's get back over here so they can shoot me again. And you got your energy fast when you're not superhuman. Oh yeah, they're fucking me up. Ow! Ow! No, I don't know what to do with my hands. So in this game, um, I feel like Missiles, heavy firing energy weapons, and machine guns are like key. Um, you can get unguided or um, weapons that can't be used while locked, like rockets and stuff like that. Those are good for some uh, actual wish. Is it helping my screen? Look at that, it's really going for it. Um, you can use those pretty effectively in certain uh, missions against stationary targets, but in the arena where you're trying to make your money, the uh, no, you do not want to use that stuff. All right, let's keep going. Defend the bridge. We are in this. See what they don't realize I'm doing is I keep doing this one over and over because if I melt enough uh, cores in that lava, eventually it's going to cool down. See, I'm playing the long game. Not really. It's a raven. Right, come All on, units, skip mission priority scene, has changed. Skip Attack. Scene. Come on, come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so as the title of this 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 is how to cheat. This is how you cheat. Once you do this, you're pretty much bridge is old and decayed. Watch yeah, your step. I don't know. So yeah, this Kind of a throwaway stream. I figure maybe my endearing personality will help get people through it. Uh, but the real game's not going to happen until we get that meat. Man. So did you, uh, King Thunder, did you play a lot of Armored Core 1 on the PlayStation? Because I've never touched it, and I'm, I'm interested in how good it is to the point where I might actually go back and check it out at some point. Uh, would you recommend it uh, based on anything other than nostalgia when, you know, we've got Armored Core 2 here? It's the 20th anniversary of Armored Core. I had no idea, dude. That's cool. That's really cool. At least the load times on this completely legitimate version that I have here. It's a raven. Great. All units, mission priority has I'm changed. Stuck loading Attack. Forever. Man, 20 years. I'm really hoping now that Miyazaki is done with the uh, with the Dark Souls series, he does like he does an armored core game. I think that would be really cool. Um, the bridge is old and decayed. Watch your step. 
Raging Thunder recommends Armored Core 1. I might have to check it out now. Fire my weapons into the thing. Um, you get charged for ammunition when you do missions in this, um, but not for doing the uh, the arena. Um, so solid ammunition weapons, like things that use actual bullets instead of energy, are really good for... He directed Armored Core 4 and 4 Answer? I actually kind of like those. Those were pretty damn good. I had no idea. I thought I thought he came on pretty much immediately for, or I thought his first major directing job was uh, uh, Demon Souls. That's what I thought, anyways. Oh man, getting spun up on my From Software here today. I'm liking it. It's a Raven. A All bit. units, mission priority has changed. Attack. Oh man, the voice acting is bad in this game. And it's not too bad. Hey, how does the how does the, the audio level sound, you guys? Is this decent? Does the game need to be turned up, turned Watch down? Do I need to be turned up? How's it sound? I can't really I can't check. Go. I think this one is hit. Should be. Should be, should be. So this next one we're gonna unlock is the laser blade wave. I guess I can show that off in the ground really quick. Or in the lava when we get back to that. Yep. Dead again. Come on, skip it. Yeah, at least we can skip this one. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I got new mail. Let's check out MT Suppression. Maybe this one will go faster. I know this one, you walk into a room full of the, uh, <laughs> the training robots System from, uh, whatchamacallit. The gates between blocks have been closed to prevent the damage from spreading. Alright, so that was the laser wave you saw there. Destroy all MT Shoot me! Kill me! Come on, do it! Do it, do it faster, you're weak! You're weak! The laser blade won't work since I'm all fucked up. Um, so the arena obviously isn't the only place you face um, ACs. You, you face them from time to time in the, uh, in the, the corporation missions as well. Um, it's always kind of special when you fight them you know, out in the wild, I guess is the right word for it. It's fun, it's a good time. Can't we have in this come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Jam on the button. Whew, we're gonna get there eventually, you guys. We're what, thirty minutes in and we've done it twice now? The pace is accelerating here. It's a raven. If I'd All wanted to be smart, I would have purchased um, some stuff with the uh, like beginning credits I'm given every time before doing this, but I'm an idiot, so here we are. I'll make sure to do that the next couple times. Waste all the ammunition. I love how even though I'm in lava, I'm like running at perfectly normal speed. Now I'm set. Oh, because I was actually holding down my boost. There we go. Almost dead. There we go. Perfect. All right. I think we're going to get this third one in record time. And we're at 24, so two more. New mail. I don't care. Step at the bridge. There's a sound effect stuck on this. I'm gonna have to fix that at some point here. It's a raven. All units, mission here. priority has changed. Attack. Mission priority has changed. 
Let's go. <clears throat> System engaged. Bridge is old and decayed. Watch go. yourself. Burn ourselves out while firing as much ammunition as possible. <clears throat> ACs you fight in missions in this game might as well just be paper mache compared to later games. I completely agree. In this game, they're a little bit of a problem, but compared to later games where the ACs are a problem, and sometimes your entire mission is like, fight two ACs, that, that is rough. That is a rough time. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, perfect. The audio issue fixed itself. Man, what a cool, weird little series this is. There's really it's a raven. not All much units, else like it has that changed. exists. Attack. Let's go! System Let's jump in here and die. Burning to death. Watch your step. Burning and dancing. Yes, I know I'm an idiot. The mechs look freaking cool too, man. There we go. All right, so we're 31 minutes in, and we've done it three times. So the average is 10 minutes per thing. I bet you we can get the next one by like 36 minutes. I'm watching. I know because I'm watching like the dashboard. Cool, all right, we did it. All right, let's see. New mail, I don't care. See, they give you 5,000 credits each time. If I had been smart, I would have spent it on something like, if I, actually, if I thought anything with that amount of money, buy an FCS, probably not. Can I buy weapon? I can't buy anything with that, okay. Waste of time, good to know. Good to know I'm just, Screwing, just screwing everybody out of a good time. Let's go. Whew. We'll do all right. Everything will be fine. System engaged. The game becomes kind of uh, super high stakes later because as you build a more a better, more expensive AC, um, you actually end up. I get crushed by those things. Doing so will open the gates one by one. You know that Miyazaki started out as a at From Software as a coder for Armored Core Last Raven in 2004. I had absolutely no idea. The only thing I really know about the Armored Core series is that it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it. Sorry. I wish I was a little bit more knowledgeable, but I am not. Alright, let's see. Grab my failure mail here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go to the bridge. We are in this. Here we go. Ow. Hell. Ah, shoulder pain. And here we go. It's a raven. All units, mission priority has changed. Attack. So we grab number three, which was the heat reduction. Glad the heat reduction isn't serious enough to stop us from getting melted by lava. Because that would make this little strategy to regen kind of shitty. This game looked okay for a early gen PS2 game too. Like the detail put into the mech parts is really good. I was always kind of not surprised, but impressed by the amount of detail they could put into smaller objects on the PlayStation 2. Uh, especially considering the jump from PlayStation 1, where everything was just different blocks. I mean, obviously some stuff was more detailed depending on um, 
there's a Ted, we have audio this glitch again. Obviously, some of the stuff was more detailed on the PlayStation 1, depending on who was doing what, but for the most part, everything was bloody. It's a ring. And I apologize for that audio glitch. Has changed. That doesn't Attack. fix uh, after the next loading screen here. What I'll do is I will uh, reset my system really quick, and hopefully that'll fix it. Hopefully. And now bridge is old and decayed. Watch your step. Yeah, the order of events is basically to go straight from doing this once it's finished to the arena. Yeah, shoot me. Perfect. If I was smart, instead of running around in the lava like an ass, I would be finding a good place where they can shoot me while I'm standing in the lava to make it go faster. That would be nice. That would be a fun. All right, cool. We got one more to go. Damn, it's still there. Okay. After this one, if it's still going, I will reset it. God, that is annoying. I like that they call the operation Scramble Day, considering what I'm doing to myself. <laughs> it's a raven. All units' mission priority All has units changed. All mission priority Attack. has changed. Attack. All right, let's go. System Right there, they can still shoot Bridge down old me. And decayed. Watch your step. Shoot me! There we go. Now I'm being shot. Get me! Kill me! Oh, that went, that went okay fast. Is the sound glitch there? I can't tell. I think it's gone again. Yay! They keep pumping me full of goo! Look at that! Look at all those tubes jacked into my brain. Alright, so that was regen number four. Let's do it again. And then take things seriously after the eighth one. System engaged. King Thunder, if you're a fan of giant robots, have you ever heard of or played the PlayStation 1 game Xenogears? Uh, Xenogears revolved around giant mechs as well, um, and that was a hell of a good game. That's actually, well, it is my favorite game of all time. See, can I land up here? Yeah, shoot me, kill me. Um, if you're a fan of giant mechs, that one's a Squaresoft RPG. Um, so you're not actually controlling or really customizing your mechs too much outside of like equipable parts. Um, but uh, that's a great game. Uh, the first 70% anyways. You can tell the part when they ran out of time and money. Um, it's still, it ends really strong, but. Ah, delicious. It ends really strong, but in terms of actually piloting a uh, mech, it's not quite as in-depth as the Armored Core series. Um, I'm actually on and off doing an LP of Xenogears over on my uh, YouTube channel, Wu-Tang Chicken. Um, I actually got to record new things in that. I haven't it's released a thing in All that All units' in mission priority has changed. Attack! Let's go! System engaged. Yeah, seriously though, if you're in the mood for a cool mech-based RPG, uh, Xenogears is probably a better bet than a lot of the other ones. I really like the kind of auto lock-on system on here. I just wish there was a button to click to like very quickly switch between Oh, 
Oh, Front Mission 3 is a great one, too. Front Mission 3 has some of the craziest, most in-depth mechanics I've ever seen in a game, including the internet in that game, which is, like, this legit, crazy, weird, like, internet thing. Go. Yeah, Front Mission 3 was great. The other ones, not so much. 1 and 2 were bad. 4 was bad. Um... The fifth one apparently was bad, and I think the fifth one was only released in Japan, so it's I don't All I can't mission understand priority that, has so I can't play that either. Attack. Let's see, okay, so I think I'm working on my fifth game over here. I think I am. System. Kind of lost count. Bridge is old. Go over here. Me. Watch your step. Kill me. Tell me. Was it Armored Core 3 or 4 where they introduced uh, cockpit view instead of third person view, King Thunder? Because I genuinely don't remember, but I remember once you were able to finally get into the cockpit, the game was. It was, it was super cool, because then it was kind of getting simmy at that point, you know? Garage. Why did I completely forget what I was doing? Ah, that damn glitch is back again. Quickly, quickly. Here we go. Damn audio glitch. Keeps coming and going in the loading. It's a Raven. All units' mission priority has changed. Attack. Yeah, when they do release an Armored Core reboot or Armored Core 6, I think it would be really cool if they went back to... Not necessarily the controls and everything, but the general... Uh, the general, like, uh, design elements of the first couple games. Um, you know, build like a... I don't want to say bare bones, but a really, like, a basic, solid system that they can then build on, you know? Because Armored Core 5, by the time you got to that, I mean, you almost needed to play all the other other Armored Core games to really um, have a feel for how to control what the hell you're doing. Here we go. Here's another regen. King Thunder, is that my fourth or my fifth? I don't remember. Pretty sure it was my fifth, but it could be my fourth. Yeah, it'll be great when they find when we finally get another armored core. As <clears throat> System engaged. Here, while I'm getting shot by these guys, the I will look up the cockpit view. Let's see. Record. Destroy all Sheet. Each of the blocks. Doing so will Pilot open enhancements, that's what we're working on. Acquire ranked AC emblems, allow overloaded AC. Secrets, infinite energy, only gives you it for a time. Set camera angle. We'll set the camera angle, and that's all I have here. I don't think there's anything else here. Did it really never show up after Armored Core 3? I could have sworn there was a cockpit mode. I mean, like I said, I know next to nothing, and I really only started playing this on a whim and got back into it hard. Um, you know, just kind of putzing around. So my knowledge of everything in the series is limited. It's a Raven. All units' mission priority has changed. Attack! But I still thought that was in more games. Yeah, who knows? Not me. <laughs> All right. System engaged. Haha, I shot you. Bridge is shot those guys a bunch of times. Because I'm the best. Really. 
Why do we fall into lava? So we can get back up again with sick enhancements. Yeah, I agree with you. Armored Core would probably be a TGS uh, announcement for sure. FromSoft has something they're announcing at uh, at E3 here, though. Hopefully it's something cool. Everybody I know is, like, frothing for a Bloodborne 2, but I don't think that's going to happen. That would be kind of neat, though. It's a raven. All units' mission priority has changed. Attack! Almost there. I've got two more till this next game over. System engaged. You can already see how much longer I can... Watch your step. Like, float now. You can actually land on those things and fly around on them. It's kind of funny. A little tricky to do, though. Come on, shoot me. Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3 have my favorite art styles in the series. Yeah, I think they look really good. Uh, 4 and 5, they looked all right. They looked pretty badass, but they were starting to get to the Transformers Michael Bay level of I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Um, so, I mean... I'm glad they took a pause on the series, seriously. Come on, there we go. Ow. Man. Lower back and shoulders are killing me today. Not quite killing me, but not fun. It's a raven. All units' mission priority has changed. Attack! Damn mods don't want to show up, sons of bitches. Oh well. System engaged. Yeah, look at how much longer I can, I can hover for here. Watch your step. Did it? Oh yeah, I landed on him. That was cool. <laughs> I am dying myself. I am to die. Let's see. King Thunder wants to know if I'm going to play the main number entries or the ones that came in between as well. Um, my intention is to play this game and another age i don't know if i'm gonna do three i don't know if i'm gonna stream three or it's or it's uh uh expansion i might though depending on how well it goes so is that our sixth time is that our sixth time i can't remember. i don't know if that was our sixth time or not um because there's a hell of a lot of stream to get out of just one of these games. And I mean, you know, I stream other stuff. I had a Katamari stream just last week here. That was a lot of fun. Destroy all NTs in each of the blocks. Doing so will open the gates one the bridge and let him shotgun me while I fire in a circle here. Oh, wow, they're shooting each other. I forgot that friendly fire is totally a thing in this game. Yeah, I don't have plans to stream anything in particular. Uh, I pretty much like to stream what's fun, you know? And I've been finding this game a lot of fun, so I figured I'd stream it, you know? Is there a bridge right here at the beginning? Did I remember seeing a bridge? If there's a bridge, I can just jump off of that. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm locked in here, so it doesn't matter anyway. Oh. 
Oh wow, we actually took a bit more damage on that one than before. Let's see. Bridge, here we go. We are in this faster, 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 faster. Priority has changed. Attack. Video looks all right. System engaged. Help me. You all suck. The bridge is old and decayed. Watch your step. These games are fun, but the AI in these older games really suck. Like, if you think how to cheat only applies to this, wait till you start seeing what I do in the arena. That is some skeezy, a-hole cheating nonsense right there. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Did I sneeze on my fu- I'm gonna jump in the thing again, and then I will be right back, actually. Good lord. Let's see, let's keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How in the actual fuck? Jeez. Let's see. Defend the bridge. Yep, that's all we want. We in this I bet you I can jump in the lava, go and come back really quick before I have a chance or before it goes too far. All units, mission priority has changed. Attack! Here we go. System engaged. Nexus, Ninebreaker, and Last Raven, were they all still PlayStation 3 games, or were they not? I'll be right back. down too much by running away. We are in this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I feel like instead of releasing a lot of new um a lot of like expansions and like unnumbered titles and everything like that, I feel like what they really need to do is they need it's to all units mission priority create, has changed. Attack. Polish the bejesus out of and release six. You know? They just need to have a numbered title, or they need to do like a reboot of the first game. System engaged. Is it? Oh wow! I'm fucking me up right there. Because the if they can do the that, Watch your step. and release a really good, really solid title, I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna. I mean, there's no other game like it, so they're going to corner the market. Um, but I feel like they can really really kind of win back all the old fans by doing that. Because I know a lot of people who played these games back in the day, but they're like, they're too obtuse and niche, and I just kind of grew out of it. And it's like, oh, it's a cool series with cool shit going on. All right, is that six or seven? I'm pretty sure that's seven. Uh, let's see. No, not garage. God damn it. Mission, here we go. Empty suppression. Total as the nose again. So the eighth enhancement is cooling rate doubled. System I don't know what that cooling rate is for specifically. I don't know if that's cooling the gates for... The locks have been closed to prevent the damage from spreading. Oh, my death there? No, I cannot. Okay. 
destroy all MTs in each of the I'm wondering if they mean actual cooling, like my radiator, or if they mean uh, cool down from using all of my uh, energy. What? You know, there's different words and different nomenclature for all that. Wow, they fuck you up fast here. Look at that. Look at how quickly I died here. It's almost as fast as the damn lava. Man, I leave the stream for like... Twenty seconds and I get some more viewers. Hey guys, thanks for coming and checking out our cheat-tastic Armored Core stream. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the dankest single-player cheating. <laughs> I feel like all the stuff that you get, though, like... Should be in, it's a raven. All units' like, mission priority has anyways. changed. Attack! Each generation is a reboot of the universe? Jeez, so they've had, what, like, five reboots at this point? That's, that's a ridiculous thing. The bridge is old and decayed. Watch your step. She had something that would kill us faster. Like, there's a mission where you can just fall into the ocean and then you sink to the bottom and die later on. That would be ideal for failing really, really quick over and over and over and over. New mail, it doesn't matter. Uh, fucking audio glitches back to the bridge. There we go. Yeah, too many reboots. It's starting to get to like Spider Man levels. Which is just obtuse and it's annoying and unfair. All units' mission priority has changed. Like, Attack! How many times do you reboot your movie fucking universe, man? Yeah. Man, it's gonna be fun to actually start. Oh, wow, they are fucking me up. Bridge is old and decayed. Watch your step. Not as quickly as this lava! Yeah, shoot me. Yeah! Kill me! Kill me! Teach me the meaning of pain. Do it harder. How strange can I get it? Let's get real weird with it. <laughs> Damn, that audio glitch. Oh, there's two of them now. It's so bad. I'm sorry. It's so bad, it's so annoying. It's actually legitimately annoying. Uh, whatever, what are you gonna do? It's a raven. All units' mission priority has changed. Attack! Let's jump in. Come on in, you guys. The lava's nice and warm. I'm standing on it. I'm standing on it. Shoot you up. Oh, there we go. They just launched me through the fucking everywhere. That was funsies. Have I ever played any of the Gen 3 games? Let's see. I think I've played Silent Line. Um, but if you're if you're saying that you would recommend those over like two and three, or over two, I would definitely be interested in checking them out. Um, like I played, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I played three, 
and I had the expansion for three, and I'm pretty sure I played it. Okay, that should be the eighth one. Um, we're gonna have to see here, but I think from here, I'm gonna just go for it. Uh, let's try it. Let's do this mission against the MTs here. I'll actually read them next time as well. No, I'd, al I'd always been kind of interested in, in all of the Armored Core games, for sure. Um, so yeah, I'd be down for I'd be down for trying out some of those. Huh? AC detected nearby. Raven. Ah, My mail client it, has fucking out. crashed. Great. Let's get that mouse off the screen there. All units converge on the Raven. Make sure our contact is protected. Oh, cool. Hey, thanks for the follow, Thunderstream, or King Thunder. Excuse me, I appreciate it. I hope to disappoint you as little as possible with my low-quality armored core and other things streams. Man, I'm getting just blown the hell up here. Should be using the ground as cover a bit. That's what I needed to do. Hey, that's all we had to do. That was easy. <laughs> the music in this game is, uh... Strange. Strange is a good word for it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mech Warrior is a lot more complex than this game is. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can't buy myself a better machine, or an actual machine gun. 38900. Nope, not yet. That's the weapon I want for the arena. That, and then from there go on to um, uh, some missile launchers and start my ridiculous raid in there. Okay, so... At rank 49 is Breakthrough, a young raven who aspires to become a nine breaker. It is unlikely that he'll be able to pull it off, but his confidence has already won him many supporters. Nine breaker is the title you get for being at the top of the arena area. Pilot's name is Lightseeker. Let's fuck him up. Ah, my mod's going to the gym. That's why you didn't let him out. Fuck it. All right. Let's fight this guy. So the first couple ones are actually pretty... Fairly easy out, honestly. Just circle strafe with boost and shoot him enough times and go down. There we go. Hit him with that. Get airborne and hit him with some missiles here. Shit! Yeah. So usually you can just kind of. I mean, if you have your control set up for twin stick like I do with custom control layout, you can pretty much, um, while boosting, just kind of rotate your left stick around and use your right stick to keep your aim on your target. As you can see so far, it's going pretty well. Missiles become kind of unfair how you use them. If you stay airborne, especially if you're fighting a target that is uh, firing like a like a projectile weapon, you can pretty much avoid all of their shots by hovering high enough in the air and using your missiles to just unload on them. I've built I've built mechs in the past that 
are only equipped with missiles just to take advantage of that and just dominate the arena. Almost dead. The idea is you, if you can get a predictable like beat on them, um, and fire at them with some sort of uh, projectile weapon that has a good rate of fire, like a like a, a decent machine gun, you can wither people pretty fast. Um, I'm not gonna use the ring out trick. However, that building behind me is going to become my turret. Uh, you'll see what I mean, and it's kind of the skeeziest thing ever. Uh, but it's fine. It's funny. All right. So the cool thing about this um, is whenever you actually win or lose, you immediately go into a uh, into a replay, and you can switch the, the, the camera around and stuff. Pretty cool. All right. 2,000 credits. I need to fight a few more before I can get the weapon I need. Hustler 2, a token low rank AC. It is poorly equipped and the pilot leaves much to be desired. He claims to be the heir of a legendary raven, but this claim is highly suspect. Oh, you can check out here. You can check out the specs of the uh, ACs before you fight them too, which is really cool. You can kind of look at that and look at the weapons they have and, and customize your guy to uh, counter them, I guess. Abandoned Highway is the level, by the way. That is where you want to fight. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come on. Come here. Come here. I'm going to shoot you with missiles. I'm going to shoot you with missiles, and I'm never going to leave my little perch here. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little closer. Listen to this music. Look at this. He can't hit me and I can just sit up here and just... Yeah! Oh, he got me that time. Good job, buddy. You did it you. Alright, come on up here. So he has his missile launcher. He's got his missile launcher and he's got a pistol and a, and a energy blade. Not exactly the most intimidating arsenal. When you get high enough, if you get the right missiles, you can pretty much just... I mean, you... You can't pretty much, you can just destroy the shit out of everybody. Is Nine Ball a, a character from Armored Core 1, King Thunder? Look at that. He's just firing off in the other direction. I, I was stun locking him with this rifle so much he couldn't turn around. Yeah, I killed you with an energy blade. Yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> it only took us about an hour to accomplish our goal of hard cheating. That's cool, you know. Yeah, Marka. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can remember. It's none of those buttons. I think it's the. I think it's the select button changes the. Uh, the camera angle because there's a really cool camera angle where it's not the perspective of either mech if I have five enough yet I don't think I do 35 and I needed 38 I think probably 38 probably jumping the gun way too much here where are you at where are you at yeah 38 900 it's very low price, but it is a solid uh, machine gun for the early game. <clears throat> like, frankly, it'll carry you through a lot of arena fights. All right, let's see. 
Pilot named Living Dead. He has been forced into the arena in order to pay off gambling debts. Sucks for him. So he racked up a bunch of gambling debts, and so they said, we're going to give you... Whoops. So they said, we're going to give you this sick-ass mech, and we're going to force you to fight in the arena. I mean, okay. Ah. A lack of skill hinders his chance at a win. All right, so this guy's got a machine gun. So it is going to be in my best interest to stay airborne and stay out of his line of fire and use missiles. Because if I get close to him, he can light me up pretty good. The good news is, oh, he's got an extension equipment, right? Yeah, because he shot the last one. And I need to get back over here. Um, there are defensive weapons you can get and equip in this game that will uh, defend you from stuff. Uh, missiles, specifically. Uh, you can get shields instead of blades for your right arm weapon. buddy. Yeah, that was dumb of you. Then again, with the arc that that thing fires at, that's not exactly the best strat for me either. So I can pretty much up here from on high. Nineball is a raven, raven from Armored Coral 1. He is the strongest raven and also an AI who has been entrusted with ensuring humanity's survival, according to lore. Also gets mentioned a bit in Armored Core Master of the Arena. That's cool. Yeah, if you want to link an image, that's fine. I'll take a look at it. I've seen a couple of the mech designs from the first Armored Core game, and I thought they looked pretty... I thought they looked pretty cool. All right, time to actually start a real fight with this guy. Yeah, these early guys, I mean, you can pretty much get behind them. I have a hard time doing that later on. Uh, head scratch. There we go. Get into a straight fight. His aiming can't keep up. Look at that. You have to aim where your opponent is, not where your opponent was or something. I don't know. Yeah, the arena, you start off with, uh, like, really low funds, but uh, as you go up higher and higher, uh, you get enough money to basically completely almost purchase everything in the shop. Doing pretty good. a beating for sure. Look at that. I have to take a few shots here. Not like it's not like it's going to cost me anything to take shots here. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'll be able to afford the machine gun. Then I'll be able to do a little bit more in toe to toe, which I'll do to a certain point. Then I'll switch over to missile tactics. The missile tactics get fucking gross. It's fun. It's fun. Oh, one weird trick to totally blow open the arena, arena, arena in Armored Core. ACs hate it. All right, three thousand credits. That should be enough to buy the weapon I require. Are where are you? There you are. No! 
No, it's too hot, son of a bitch. All right, we'll do one more. Then we're gonna buy the damn thing. Let's look at Splurge. This pilot boosts his AC's defenses and mobility by equipping a shield and a floating leg base. A bad habit of wasting energy in combat has kept him from advancing. He's got some good gear. And his color scheme is kind of retarded. Don't worry, we'll have our own stupid uh, color scheme by the time we're done with this. Look like some idiot circus clown for sure. So with the basic mech you get, you get to a point in the arena where you run into guys that are too armored for you to actually kill with all the ammunition you bring. Which, as you can imagine, can be a tad frustrating. You you uh, you deserve that hit. Okay, you keep bouncing around. You see what happens to you. Come on out! Damn it! If he really wants to move. It's gonna be. Oh, you know what? My bad, dude. I did actually. Sorry to send you on a on a. a... Send you looking for stuff there. I can look it up later. I forgot I, I disabled uh, posting um, links in the chat. I'd had a problem with that before, so I just kind of cut it off for everybody. My bad, dude. This one's going okay. Except for those wasted shots. Come on. There you go. Got him with both of them. Three missiles left. Nope. Well, that is a goddamn waste. All right. Let's see. There we go. There's the end of that, and now we're down to a real fight. He's got better range than me on his uh, fire control system. I mean. So you can equip uh, different fire control systems in this game that changes the way your uh, mech is able to target. Um, to include building like super long range sniper mechs that are actually really cool, but I've never had a, a I've never found to be super viable in all cases. Um, I try to build all around mechs or all around ACs, like ones that are really good for you know, kind of every situation. Um, and I wouldn't say I have middling results, but um, like when you check like your AC quality and stuff like that, it ends up coming off as like poor, sucks. I mean, it could be worse, you know. There it is. How the hell did I do that? I don't know how I did that. I've got the I've got the controls set up really weird, so I'm like missing some buttons. Not missing, but all right, that'll be enough to get what I need. In Armored Core Master of the Arena, Nine Ball reappears as Nine Ball Seraph, and he basically has the firepower and mobility of a next before those were even the thing. Damn. Here we go. There's our first, our first purchase. Oh my God. We're becoming mech tunors. So the damage is down a little bit. The damage is down by about half. 
but the ammo is up and the way the thing fires is really good, so. It's a good it's a good early game thing for for arena. Which is what I'm gonna be spending most of my time doing. I think I'll switch it up at some point. Tomboy, a young girl who joined the arena to earn money to help care for her family. Poor thing. Her AC is poorly equipped, and she has struggled to advance, but refuses to quit. Aw, oh, poor thing. She only has a pistol and a pretty decent uh, uh, blade weapon. So, like, a lot of these, like, guys are clearly built to be, you know, just kind of early. You're figuring out how to play the game cannon fodder. I'm going to need to switch up my fire control system here to uh, uh, sideways lock soon. Look at the damage. Look at how quickly I'm withering her AC. This is why uh, this with a good fire control system is really good for the early game. God damn it! I'm actually having a really bad time of it with this uh, lock type. So I think fire control system is going to be my next purchase. Oh wow. It's actually doing a decent amount of damage to me with her damn little pistol there. Like, good for her. I need to I need to fix my cockpit so I can see what her ammo situation or what my enemy's ammo situation is like here soon. Yeah, there's a good hit. That was a waste. Come on. The way aiming in this game works for uh, for the ACs really kind of relies on. Oh, that was a little bit too late. Really kind of relies on predictable movement. God damn it! I'm always like a half a second too late on those. So oh, that matters soon. There we go. If the enemies are moving predictably, like in a boost, they're much easier to hit. There we go. That took way too much time and ammo, but that was all right. Nineball Seraph is also a hidden boss in Armored Core 2 Another Age. It sounds really familiar now that you mention it, but it's been so long since I've played Another Age, I, I don't remember necessarily anything about that. Ah, delicious water. All right, so should have won a little bit more. See, 4,000 credits. You know what? I want to get my fire control system up here, so I think I'm actually going to do a couple missions here. As I know I said last time I was going to read those as I go through it. So, eh. Whoops. My bad. System engaged. The gates between blocks have been closed to prevent the damage from spreading. At least they're not moving very fast. If you're not careful, this mission can F you up real bad. Uh, because those things can actually do a lot of damage. Must be different. Look at our menu. Those ones down there. Is it this one? Nope. Gotta be this one. There we go. On to another one, I guess. There's some doors here. It's probably directly across me. In fact, no, you know what? It said go to block B, and there it says B. So I'm just a friggin' idiot. So far. I mean, shooting 
stationary. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it was probably kind of trash, but you know. And hey, it wasn't even cheating. Well, I mean, it was technically cheating. So if you look at the ex uh, the expense, you actually get charged for AC repair and ammunition. No special additions or deductions. Sometimes you get special mission parameters where if you do X or Y, they'll pay you more or deduct money. But hey, 24 ain't too bad to start off with. See if I can buy my FCS there. A lot of mail to read, too. Let's see. I've already read this one. And I believe I already read New Partner. Alright. Let's read a few of these and then continue on. Alright. To the Raven, I want to congratulate you on your entry into the arena, but life here is hard. Most pilots drift through the lower ranks and then disappear. The ultimate dream is to attain the title Ninebreaker. Warehound, you won't be able to advance as long as he's in the way. Your future in the arena depends on your ability to defeat him. If you can't, he'll vanish like so many others. Good luck. The first guy. And Warehound, I think he's like rank 41 or 40. And he's supposed to be like your first big problem. All right, so here's Nell filling us in on some information here. Zeo Matrix is currently the most powerful corporation on Mars. It wasn't a large corporation prior to Martian development, but it was first to expand into Mars and soon claimed the number one position through a series of AC developments. So they develop AC tech. Zeo Matrix, freaks, Zeo Matrix frequently employs Ravens. As your name becomes established, they will most likely approach you with important missions. The value of your existence is determined by corporate decisions. Jeez, this sounds Japanese as hell. <laughs> Do not forget who allows you to live. Wow! We will contact you again. This is, that's the most Japanese thing I've read today. That's fucking, that's crazy. As you know, the Earth government struggled during the chaos of the subterranean era to rebuild itself into the ruling entity that it was prior to the Great Destruction. I guess in Armored Core 1, everything happens underground because they nuked the surface or something. LCC is an organization established by the Earth government, but it lacks clout as the Earth government's resources are focused on environmental reclamation and maintaining order on the Earth. LCC, LCC possesses no real military strength and relies heavily upon ravens. Hi, I'm here to help you out. But behind the scenes, they're engaged in a vicious power struggle. LCC has been quiet since its inception, but they could become active at any time. What does that mean? Thus, confrontations between corporations are becoming more and more deadly, and tension is mounting. I guess LCC is the governing body, and they're letting the corporations do whatever. Then again, this might be favorable for you, ravens, as it provides more work for you. We'll contact you again. All right, disorder units, let's read about this. We have requests, a request for the removal of disorder units. These are unmanned armored weapons known to have existed prior to Martian development. So they're, they're frickin' aliens. Disorder units display organized insect-like behavior and appear unannounced in various Martian cities and facilities causing great damage. It's not known exactly what the disorders are. We only know they're dangerous and that a number of different types exist. That's about all. Missions involving disorder units will probably be common in the future, so exercise great caution. Stay alert for any information regarding them. We will contact you again. Will you contact me again? Will you? Are you sure? All right, let's see. Can I buy my nice deep wide FCS? No, that thing costs a pretty penny. Jesus, actually, that's kind of crazy. I could buy this one, but I'm not worried about extra locks at this point. So we're going to leave well enough alone. We're going to do another mission. Let's do the mission. Attack Rictenna installation and remove disorder units. Let's defend the bridge and not fall into the lava. Head to the old bridge in the Tread Special Environment Zone. The bridge is a remnant left over from the first terraforming. 
It's now occupied by Zeo Matrix. This sarcastic fuck is no so pissed to be here. Zeo has entered this zone, but Listen. we have jurisdiction like, over the old me? facilities and unauthorized corporate encroachment will not be tolerated. Eliminate all corporate MTs. This will serve as a warning to them. A warning to them. This area is very high in temperature due to its exposure to lava released from a nearby lava. volcano. The roads are badly damaged, but being a raven, this should pose no problem. I agree with you. That is all. Good luck. Cool. Thanks for briefing me on this mission. Developer pulled into the sound booth in between lunch. All right. Destroy all corporate MTs. Let's do it. Eh, all old video game voice acting was like that. With very few exceptions. It's a raven. All units' oh mission God. priority has changed. Attack. Hey, fuckers, I'm back. And this time I'm not here to swim. Come on, let's go. Bridge blew out under my foot. That's what that crazy explosion was. Uh, but yeah, I'm good. Yeah, meta, blah, meh, meh, blah, 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 blah. Wow, I can't speak today. Metal Gear Solid had some pretty great voice acting for the time. There were a few other games I can't remember off the top of my head that had really good voice acting. Um, and the PlayStation era as well. Oops, not system. I want mail. Let's go to mail. Thank you. Good work. You seem to be a very proficient pilot. We'd be pleased if someone of your caliber could work exclusively for LCC in the future. But they never give you any incentive. There's no story difference to doing anything. You're literally completely allowed to play all sides in all conflicts until you beat the story. We must grow in strength if we are to become an effective governing body here on Mars. Okay, cool. Good for you. Let's do... Okay, let's remove the disorder units. I'm sure I can't handle this. This is an emergency. Disorder units have been discovered in the 17th district the of the underground high-speed railway. I'm requesting your services to eliminate them. Cool. Disorder units are unmanned, armored weapons of unknown origin. They've appeared uh, in many places. Yeah, the voice Mars acting's and bad, but you know what? It's serviceable. In and facilities. It's almost charming this nowadays, like the original the Rest Evil voice actors, oh my god. Should this get out <laughs> of hand, the economic repercussions would be immense. The LCC oh, is currently handling other issues. Therefore, we've decided that hiring a raven is the best course of action. Please take care of the situation. We cannot let these weapons of unknown origin hinder progress on these guys Mars. Are Failure is not Whoever an did the translation was really good. Um, simply because they kept the incredible Japanese inflections of like, this is all about the corporation's progress and we don't care about you and your existence is a privilege. And oh, hey, look. These things are gonna. Oh, God, look at that. That's brutal. Yes, Jill Sandwich reference in the chat. I love it. System. I gotta stop floating my damn. Let's 
guys are too little to hit with the laser blade. Lock onto disorder units if you don't have a head with a bio sensor. I didn't know that. That's uh, that's kind of crazy, actually. Kind of cool if I'm being honest. Oh, and there goes all that ammo. This might cause a problem here. Wow, I missed that somehow. Keep on the move so they don't hit me while I fire at them. It only takes two missiles, two missiles to kill them. That's the last two ones left. I got 14 missiles left. They paid me pretty good, so I'm perfectly fine with wasting the ammunition. You'll end up. If you're smart, there more around this one. No, did I miss one? Hmm, I must have missed one. Let's go back and take a look. See. Um, enter. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, the fire from. Oh, I missed several of them. Wow, how did I manage that? The fire from energy weapons is energy based, so it doesn't cost any money because you're not firing a bullet that you have to reload. Um, so later on, I, I usually prefer to build um, uh, ACs that use energy weapons for, uh, for missions. Just to, because look at that ammunition expense there. That's, that was like almost a fifth of, actually, it's over a fifth of um, what I got in uh, uh, word I can't think of. Um, uh, compensation, there's the word. Yeah, I did it, me. All right, let's get that new FCS. I really want that wide lock. It's gonna save me a lot of wasted ammunition, for sure. Let's see. So, every piece of gear, every body part, every everything has all of this tech and all of this information associated with it. And it's really cool to go through and see everything, and, you know. And then you have an overall for your AC that shows you where you are on everything. EP output, legs, core. Slowly but surely build this damn thing up. Screw it! This hasn't been going so, too bad. Let's do a few more missions. Please attack Zeomatrix's energy collection facility. Listen to this asshole! The target is the Rectenna installation in the Hellas Plain. Wow! Solar devices blanket the area, collecting sunlight and converting it into energy. You're really trying hard, bro. Cities. It's not working. The goal is to undermine the public trust in Zeomatrix by destroying their ability Are to you trying to be Scottish French, bro? Power. This, the facility is guarded by cannons and a squadron of fighter planes. Oh my god. Therefore, this asshole. we will be attacking at night. When we, sh we will also be assembling an MT support team to Okay, I get it. I don't want, I don't want to listen to that anymore. That's that was that was really bad. I no. Oh, listen to that. That's not too bad. Actually. We've arrived at the target area, commencing AC drop. So you get night levels like this and they look pretty cool, but they're really really hard to see a lot of crap. Okay. T platoon supplied by our client will accompany us on this mission. They're unmanned, so they're lost. 
should focus on one until it's dead, huh? Really not doing myself any favors by not doing that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh crap, I overheated myself. I just realized, even though it's been blasting in my ear. That one down. I think this is it. Is that it? What's next? What are we doing? We've got friends over there. The worst mini map ever. Thought I destroyed everything. Is there something left over here? Yeah, there is. That was it. That was the mission. I think. Nope, there's another fun uh, here. here. How about that? Aren't you special? As I can continue. Is it done? I must have missed it, like, things back here. Or do I have to destroy that facility? That's what it is, isn't it? Let's see, did destroying this help? Yep. I go around and break those things. I thought I did, but then I started shooting at that and it didn't get destroyed right away, so... I guess I just kind of assumed. Everybody knows what happens when you assume. It makes an ass out of you and me. Oh, that's already destroyed. That thing's long gone. That one. Is there one more floating around somewhere? Yeah. Nope, nope. There we go. Is calling me. Well, whoever you are, you can you can get back to me. There we go. That's what I needed to do. All right, that one that was kind of a bumbling mess, but that wasn't too bad, right? Right? I hope. I hope. Yeah, I made a fair amount of money there. A new mail. Let's read some more mail from Emerald. Emraude is Earth's largest corporation, but it's a step behind Zeo Matrix as far as expansion into Mars is concerned. Of course, Emraude, Emraud, whatever it is. <laughs> it can't always be worse, King Thunder. Emraud isn't satisfied with this situation, and they, and they are gradually strengthening their power base on Mars through drastic measures. An aggressive attitude is what has made Emerald number one on Earth. Their greed and ruthlessness is a prime example of corporations as a whole. We will, <laughs> we will contact you again. Yeah, you see these guys? Fuck these guys. You're going to be getting all your jobs from these assholes. We'll contact you again. <laughs> Let's go back to the arena for a bit, eh? Phaeton. Pilot named Phaeton. Piloted by a brave sort who never runs from a fight but lacks ability. Even though his AC is well armored, it's doubtful this alone will help him advance in rank. Let's see, so he's got the default rifle, he's got a rocket launcher, and he's got... Pretty sure that's a shield. So we should have no problems with this guy. Uh, should have no problems with this guy. 
Still gonna sit on top of this building and pelt him with missiles like an asshole, though. <laughs> oh god, no wait, I shouldn't be standing still. This is stupid. I'm an idiot. What am I doing with my life? There we go. So this is one of the reasons I like the, the sideways lock or the sideways targeting because like look at the size of that it pretty much covers a 16 by 9 part of the screen which allows you to be a little sloppy with your left and right aiming because you're not going to lose your lock when I was standing still like that he definitely should have been shooting me with his rockets he would have had a much would have been able to do a lot more damage, basically. Screw that up. I wasn't trying to jump, I was trying to just start the uh, boost straight. This game is cool because they're you, you circle strain. I like circle strafing. I think it's a cool like game mechanic. Especially in a game about mechs where you think it would be all about flying around and shit. Don't get me wrong, the, the... Oh wow, I went through all my ammo on that. No, I didn't know any of that. So... Armored Core 2 is still part of the Armored Core universe, and Armored Core 3 is a reboot, uh, King Thunder. I don't remember that at all, to be perfectly honest. Ah! That was a good dodge, bro. Oh, you're dead. Are you gonna make it? No, you suck! Yeah! Brick Squad, I killed you. Now I'm standing next to you, hanging out. It was a good little fight. That was pretty good, you guys. <laughs> Let's see. Go. That. Back to the game. Sorry, I had to do some crap. Gen 2 is a reboot connected to Gen 1. I didn't know that. That's cool. Very cool. It's a good. This is good. This is fun, fun little fun stream. Fun. Funny, fun, fun. Good mobili bleh, mobility. Rank 43, Venom. Good mobility for a caterpillar caterpillar based AC. The pilot prefers to attack from the rear and does not fare well in head on battles. He goes nuts when pressure. He's got a shotgun, so I don't want to get too close to him. And he's got a better version of the missile launcher I have. And he's definitely going to have more. Whoops. He's definitely got more armor and AP than I have. But I think we can manage. Ow, this freaking, they need more padding on these damn middle bar things here. Bueno. All right, so this guy has a little under 500 more AP than me. Coming out, there you go. You get... I really liked in the expansion for this, the fact that they gave you extensions that allowed you to do uh, uh, quick turns with rockets and stuff. I really like that. Uh, the ability to just basically turn completely around very quickly is very powerful in this game. Took that hit, that's okay. It was worth it, it was worth the trade. Now you're just kind of... See him hiding behind the little thing. Oh, your AI is so cute. You're kidding about him going nuts with pressure. Just 
pepper the ever living shit out of you. Oh, he used his overboost to get up close to me really quick. That was like, and I wasn't moving really fast. That was actually very smart on the on the part of the AI, but uh, didn't really didn't really pan out for you, did it, buddy? Nope. It's all right. It's not your fault. You know, I never. We'll let that run for a second. So just bear with me here. That's what I want. I never told anybody, anybody, what I was doing. There we go. Sending out the stuff on social media. There we go. That's taken care of. Thanks for bearing with me. Let's move on, shall we? I feel like the early game is where you're gonna find most of the excitement in this game, and I hate to say it like that, because the end of the game is fun. The game overall is fun. Some of the missions are crap. Um, but when you've just got basic equipment and you're going up against other people with generally basic equipment as well. Oh yeah, this is the guy that's supposed to be trouble. He likes breaking in newcomers with potential. So I'm not gonna fuck with him yet. I'm gonna go to the garage and actually customize a bunch of stuff. Uh, I want enemy heat, enemy energy, enemy data, remnants, no angle. Outer heat is not important. War potential, whatever, winning, sure. Speedometer, it's not important, but fuck it, I'll put it on there. There we go. Let's change the color to something a little bit easier to deal with, like, you know what, blue. Blue's a good color. Another blue. Fuck it, while we're here, let's pick some. Let's go with orange, why not? That looks all right for a basic bat. Oh, my back. Not worried about the emblem or anything like that. And you know what? We've been doing this for almost two hours, and I have not saved. So let us save our game. There we go. And bam. I don't have a name. Oh, yeah, because when you regen, you don't have a name. Got to go to pilot and do the thing. If you press R1, L1, R2, L2, R3, and L3 at the same time, you get infinite energy for 30 seconds. Yep, that still works in this game. It won't work for me because of the way I changed it. You know how L1 and R1 were for left and right strafe, and L2 and R2 were for looking down and up respectively? Well, I mapped it to, I mapped those functions and the movement functions to the sticks, and I didn't change anything around, so I can't physically press all those buttons at once because it's pressing a different direction on the sticks at this point. Man, I forgot that my name got messed up. I'm not paraplegic anymore, you guys. Uh, what should I name my guy? Uh, Ted, oops, Ted, Danson. Shut up, it's funny to me. <laughs> AC name should be... Uh... Smash... Sucks. <laughs> oh, I love talking shit about the Smash community. That's great. 
Oh, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. I apologize to anybody, everybody, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm, I don't want to do any of those right now. I'll stay in the arena. Alright, let's see if I don't have the skills and ability to screw up Warehound. It's those arms of his I'm worried about. The rocket, or his, uh, yeah, his uh, dummy or dump fire rockets, not too much, but the, uh, those arms can fuck you up if you're not careful. It's got a ton of ammo on it, like 300 rounds on that machine gun. So I'm gonna float in the air and try to get him to waste as much ammo as possible. Haha, I got the first hit. Oh, you got a couple shots in on me. Let's see, so he fires two at a time, right? Yeah. Damn! Go back over up here. Where am I? There we go. Woo! That was trouble. Alright, so this guy is supposed to be, like, the beginning, like, he's supposed to be the first, like, hard guy. He's supposed to be the first skilled guy you actually fight. And, uh, he's just kind of dumping into you. I guess if you were just on the ground, it would be incredibly intimidating, but, I mean, all the way up here, not so much. Coming up, come up. Ah. Get our heat back up. Come on, red zone. There we go. Out of the red zone. We got our stuff back. Oh, he's like right below me and does not want to give up that spot. I got really high there. Nice. Hit you there. Yeah, there's a good hit. Hit confirms. I love it. And it's not a dumb X in the middle of your screen like Call of Duty. It's the nice, like... Oh, man, neither. Oh, one of them hit. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! It's a good hit. Actually doing just fine on him, and he's fired over... Half his ammunition? No, he hasn't fired much, actually. gonna be under there. Damn. So for a mindless AI, he's really good at getting in and out of the damn whatchamacallit. He's trying to get up here. Their AI is bad enough that they don't really know how to get up. Oh, look at that. He's almost completely out of ammo for his machine gun. That's the only thing I was really worried about. Because he doesn't have he doesn't have an energy blade. So basically, once he uses all his ammo, I'll be able to just kind of stand around next to him and shoot his ass. And he's got three small rockets left. So, like, you played yourself, buddy. This is your fault. You have no one but yourself to blame for... Uh, you're lost here. Look at this. Look at this. This is your fault. Like you're jumping around doing your best not to get shot and like in all honestly, all honesty, you're doing okay. But like look at how bad things are going for you, bro. He doesn't, he doesn't have any melee offense. He doesn't have one of those because he's got the special arm stuff. Holding the controller backwards so the control scheme I always use for the older... By backwards, do you mean like this? Or like... It couldn't be like that. That's interesting. So then you use like your fingers for everything and your thumbs for the top. Is this what you're talking about, dude? Because that's cool. I've never heard of that before. I don't think I would want to try that on like myself, but. Huh. Oh, I'm back again. 
Damn it. 6,000 credits acquired. Okay. He's probably going to send me some mail. Yep. To the rookie. Let's see. Warehound, you're progressing steadily, but soon your cocky attitude will have to face a reality check. Have fun while you can. You mean how I just let you use up all your ammo and killed you? You idiot. You're the worst. Don't get too cocky just because you beat me. Shut up! <laughs> Only a select few can win and actually keep their ranking. It's not uncommon to see skilled pilots lose their footing. That's all part of life in the arena. So I just taught myself and assumed that holding the controller backwards is actually the right way to play. And I still play holding the controller backwards to this very day. That's really, that's crazy, dude. That's cool. You do you, for sure. I'm actually, the way I control is what is considered normal for normal people, right? Um, but I'm a lefty, and every other lefty I know uses southpaw, where all this stuff gets uh, reversed, where the right stick controls as the left stick, and vice versa, and the bumpers get changed around. I've never been good at that. I'm also, I'm also not one of those lefties who uses their left hand for the mouse. I still use my right hand, so I guess I'm kind of ambidextrous when it comes to that. But that's like, that's a whole, this is a whole different level of like, holy, sh holy crap. <laughs> Still cool to think, it's cool to hear about though. All right, let's see, what do we got next? Grudge. Let's see, he's got a pistol and a multi-missile launcher. That thing is actually a problem. His AC isn't very high quality, but its missile-based attacks are impressive. Long-range skirmishes are his strength, and he never forgets those he has lost to. I'll try that. So does it get weird? with the controls where you would have to push left to go right and like right to go left because that seems like that would be like really difficult to get used to man all right so this guy has stuff that can actually like totally fuck me up so the the main aim of this is going to be to see if i can't get him to like basically see if i can't bait out his missiles in such a way that i can avoid them But it looks like he's more excited about his... Oh, there's the missiles. Come on. All right, there we go. We got two of them. We got two of them stuck on the thing. So that's good. Are you gonna go under? Yeah, you're gonna go under. Yeah, I hit you on the other side, and I missed them on your missiles. That thing fires four actually really damaging missiles at once it's it's bad for a number of reasons but if all those missiles hit you at once uh, it's actually a heat issue you can overheat and start basically melting if you get hit with too many of those at once um, it's actually a really good missile system for um, for like heat based builds because there's a flamethrower you can get in this game where the entire thing is like you're not causing direct damage, but you're causing damage by overheating the target's AC. So you can do cool hit and run stuff where you get in with your flamethrower, cause some damage, start them overheating, and then back off. It's actually, there's like one or two arena guys designed around that, and they're, if, if you play their game, you will get screwed up really quickly problem with the AI is that for the most part it's either very single-minded and not very robust, which I mean it's you know, a PlayStation 2 era you know, AI um, the scripting is advanced but not that advanced like I could probably write it myself Yeah, your controller style sounds really cool. I wonder if there's other people who use a controller like you. You're you're the first person I've ever talked to who does that. And it's really interesting. All right, are you gonna get under before? Yeah, no you're not. Ah, oh, one of them got. He's taking a few good pot shots at me. 
I haven't gotten hit by his... I think I got hit by one or two of his missiles already, but not like the whole uh, salvo, which is good for me. Try going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you for a bit, bro. See, when you can catch him, where they're just kind of... Yeah. Matthias and Ares. Ares isn't a tough fight, and I'll show you what I do. I can I can beat Ares in about 30 seconds by just standing on top of that building and hitting him with the multi-missiles. It's kind of the skeeziest crap ever. There are a couple really good fights at the end, though. Um, that sniper chick who's like rank 6 or 7, she's actually a hell of a fight. Uh, I don't know how she has her AC built up, but, like, she manages to hit you in midair with her sniper rifle fairly consistently. Um, oh, here's another cool thing. You can click on yourself, and it'll give you a little blurb about what you're doing. They're only annoying if you don't cheat. I agree with you. They're definitely annoying if you don't cheat. That Kurosawa... Um, uh, uh, light rifle that uh, that Ares has is a motherfucker, and I've I've basically built his mech and gone toe to toe with him. A lot of these mechs, uh, that's another kind of annoying thing about this game is a lot of the mechs that you fight um, ignore the weight limits and stuff that you have to deal with, um, which is that really annoying. Uh, let's. See the money for that yet, but that's the core I'm aiming for, for now anyways. Uh, high shell defense and high AP, good accuracy. Uh, we're gonna be buying these arms. Let's look into the head. The Night Eye is a good mid-level, mm, excuse me, head. Um, that yet. I, I don't think I have enough for good legs either. These are the legs I'll probably end up sitting on for a little while, even though the moving ability is kind of bad. Though... You know what? Let's just go for it. I don't have enough for a booster or anything yet. Let's, uh, let's mod a little bit. Not optional. Parts assembly. There we go. So we want to equip these legs. These legs. So the maximum weight. Goes up by 11. But overall it goes down because the legs weigh a little more. And the core weight point is up. Yeah, their ring outs in that level specifically are really bad, but you can sit up there and with a uh, with the vertical lock, um, with the vertical fire control system, you can just rain missiles down on them from a place they can't hit you and you can hit them very easily. All right, so we've gone to, we've gone to a reverse joint AC here probably need to worry about I need to worry about a lot of things soon, but the generator's probably going to be the next big buy. Let's continue on, shall we? Oh, hey, look, another reverse joint. Psychedelic, a raven who likes to stand out, as can be seen by taking one look at his absolutely Shreklik, uh, which is German for terrible, uh, AC. That uh, missile pod he's got on his back, that is the, that is the missile launcher, by the way. Uh, his fighting style is quite erratic, but even he gets lucky sometimes. It's funny. Yeah, that missile launcher he has is pretty... Uh, ugh. Yeah. Ooh, I got a voicemail. Yeah. I'm going to beat this guy really quick, and then I'm going to listen to that voicemail. Because if I'm getting a local voicemail, I need something going on. Where you at, buddy? Yeah, these missiles are... Ooh. Those missiles are very hard to avoid. Oh! He might have my number. 
Yeah, once you beat the game, you can ignore the weight limit, and that's fun. Like, because then that also... Doesn't that carry over to... Doesn't that carry over to uh, the expansion as well? Because obviously all your parts carry over. Oh man, this guy, uh, this guy has... Single-handedly got my number with that uh, that multi-missile of his on his back. The thing weighs a ton, but it's so gosh darn good. Gotta get down. Ugh. See, I'm trying to use the building to kind of skis out his missiles here. Yeah, that's what we need. Scumbag tactics are the only way to win. Boosted his ass off the level. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, that's a problem. Nice missile shot, idiot. Ha <laughs> ha, got you, boy. Okay, there we go. We hit him again. Again, there we go. Scumbag tactics. If they hadn't wanted it to be so bad, they wouldn't have made it so that you could lock on through walls and floors and geometry in general. Oops, lost my lock. Fire! Oh, he didn't, good. Oh, because he's got the shotgun equipped with all things. All right, so by skeezing him out, we've evened up the fight a little bit. Considering I'm ba I'm using a, a barely not default AC, that's pretty all right. But now I actually have to play his game here. Which slightly terrifies me. Fire your missiles! Notice the way when he changes his trajectory. Uh, oh. He really wants me. When he changes his trajectory, that's where my uh, my accuracy goes down with the actual with the auto targeting. I always thought that was really interesting, that basically the way they have the, uh, the, the aiming set up on this is designed algorithmically um, to follow a trajectory, because that's ex actually exactly how it would happen in real life um, if you were to program something like that. All right, I need to check this voicemail. I'll be back in two minutes. Enjoy this uh, replay while I go do that. Thanks for tuning in, by the way, you guys.
back. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. That was actually kind of an important call. I'm kind of an idiot for not taking that. Um, it's delivery confirmation for an oven I'm having installed tomorrow. So, you know, oops. Oh well. I at least know when they're coming to deliver it. So. If you get human plus, you can ignore weight limits right away. No kidding? So I can just overweight the crap out of myself right now? I didn't think that was the case. Not in the... Mm, I'm, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's keep going on. The engineer. An AC engineer who joins the arena to conduct research. He claims his AC tactics are based on logical calculations. His performance, however, does not reflect this. Let's see. It looks like he's got... What has he got? A decent looking missile launcher and a cool looking rifle. I'm assuming that's a rifle. Let's look at his specs really quick. A lot of mobility. He should be alright. We shouldn't have any problems. Hey Kane, how you doing man? Welcome to the stream. All right, let's see. So this guy's gonna be coming over here. Unload, unload on him. There we go. Ah, the first trade, and I get him. Cause I am the best. Not really. I'm the skeeziest, cheatsiest. That's what I is. Yeah. Oh jeez, I did. Uh, it's firing a lot of missiles at once out of that thing. Here. Oh god. Uh, I agree, I wish they would make more. Uh, the hope... The hope is that they'll actually... Uh, be coming out with more soon since Miyazaki and from is done with the Souls series. I mean, of course they're still going to make Souls games, but how cool would Armored Core Souls be? Woo, there we go. Yeah, when I'm in the air, I can avoid the... The main question about Armored Core Souls is, okay, so you kill the ACs, do the ACs have souls or do you have to eat the pilots to absorb their souls? <laughs> and then what do you use instead of humanity? Do you use dumb Japanese corporation bucks? I mean, there's that, there's that, uh, uh, kind of tech Souls game that's coming out soon from the, uh, the Lords of the Fallen guys called The Surge, where you collect scrap, which honestly makes sense. Uh, this guy and his missile launcher, man. That is a hell of a missile launcher, too. He's launched so much at me, and look at how many missiles he still has. Alright, so look at this. He can't hit me, and I can just kind of hover here and catch him with missiles from there. That's, uh, the skeeziest crap ever. You have to eat the player, Kane says. Oh, jeez. That would be funny. Grab that, and another one. Ah, crap! I did that to myself. I can just kind of hold down the button. Okay. Time to make our way across the level and then cause problems. Get that overboost in there. I think that's the first... Wow, he's on my ass! This is the first time I've used overboost this, uh... This, uh, save file, I think. I know I used it when I was cheating my way to victory in the lava earlier, but that was just for funsies. That was like I was hoping I'd be able to get away from him with enough time to... Come on, come on. 
was hoping I'd be able to get away from him. Oh, you're right there. Actually, you're overheated, so you would have lost anyway. That went pretty well. This is actually all going pretty well, considering the fact that I'm using the not really that upgraded AC right now. I think either either I'll focus on generator next or I'll grab the missile launcher that I want to use. Come on, let's go. Look at, I'll look into a missile launcher. Do I need that radar? I think I do need that radar that's on my back right now because the head that I have doesn't have one equipped. I know the, the, the human regen or whatever it is, I have one just by default no matter what. So I know I'm kind of being an idiot by still having that thing on my back, but you can't stop me. I'm an adult. Sell those old arms. We can always buy those back later. We can use the extra money for now. Oh wait, I'm still in sell. I'm glad I didn't start sell buying sell things. All right, so that one's the one we want. That one's a decent one we can afford. We can afford this one as well. High efficiency back here for energy use. Boost power 1400, boost power 1300. The weight is less, no, we can grab this one. Wait, Miyazaki said they're making a new Armored Core game? Holy crap, that's awesome. I didn't know he said that. That's badass, I'm excited. I hope they I hope they do like a full reboot and like don't go crazy with it. Because if they don't go crazy with it, I think they'll be able to make a good polished game. I'm kinda worried when it comes to armored core games because the last ones have been kind of completely nuts. Let's see, how's that energy out? But I'm still way under my energy at this point. That's cool. Good, good, good. All right, let's do a mission, I guess. Capture cargo, okay. Let's see, is this gonna be the guy with the bad forced accent again? We request oh, that you attack the, the Zeo Matrix accent. transport vehicle. Oh, I don't even wanna like, I don't even wanna make fun of it because I'm gonna feel like an asshole making, doing the, ugh, The target is a lightly armed transport vehicle. According to our well, here's report, hoping that's what they announced in E3, because that would be badass. This route is different from the one normally used. The vehicle the is probably transporting information on a newly developed technology. Capture the cargo, and or the transport's destruction is the minimum. So in this one, I'm pretty sure you get more money if you save the cargo. We've arrived at the target area. Cool! Leaving the area of operations. Bye. System engaged. Oop. I want to stay on the ground for this one. This is one of the ones where the, uh... Raven, move out! All right, I'm gonna have to use overboost to get up in the second here. Actually, this is going. That was fast. Okay, I thought that was gonna suck. That didn't suck. He said that all the way back in September. Wow. That was a long time ago. I didn't know that. I knew they said they were doing a like a sci-fi thing. Looks like we'll be unable to recover the goods. Go ahead and destroy them. If you move up, oh, that was fast. We did it. We're the best. We're the best AC pilots. We fly in circles and shoot the guns. Yeah, America. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, great! Damn it! Got the audio glitch thing going. 
kind of annoying. Oh, hey, it's better now. All right, let's look at the... Oh, I got a ton of stuff. Arena ranking. Congratulations on your advancement in the arena. Please accept this AC part as a gift. I wish you would show what the AC part was. <coughs> so you didn't have to go through your depository to look for the damn thing. Zeo Matrix and Disorder Units. It has been confirmed that the item Zeo Matrix was transporting was a disorder unit. It is thought to be a previously unknown type. Where and how did Zeo Matrix capture... Is Zeo Matrix capturing disorders and why are they transporting them? Something is going on. We'll let you know if we find out anything new. To all AC pilots. New AC parts have been added to our line. These new products are the realization of our philosophy. More power to the more people. Please see the shop for details. We emphasize the weapons are nothing more than weapons. There's no need for fancy features, unbalanced power, or flashy designs. As long as they perform their task, that's enough. Good weapons are weapons that can be used by many people. The elderly, babies, people with mental disabilities, dogs. As long as they can use it, and they give us their money. Especially the dogs. Uh, wait, no, I wanted to go to Depository and see what I got. The Depository is like a little bit faster for the purpose. It's not going to be a header core. It's not going to be arms. Nope. Legs. Basic legs, there's the backwards ones I bought. It's not a booster. Fire control system, nine. Generator, nine. Of course they wouldn't give me a generator. <laughs> Here's this like super important thing. It's not an inside, it's not an extension. It's not a back unit. Did they give me a gun? They didn't give me a gun. They didn't give me an arm, you know what? Did they give me an optional part? They did! They gave me the braking capacity one. Okay, it's better than nothing. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. That's fine. Oh shit! I did that mission and it cut out the other missions there. Darn. I kinda wish I had like a like a mission map that told me do these before you do this one, because when you do this one, it's gonna cause the other ones to go away. Eh, no big deal. <coughs> Let's do the spaceport export. We've Ex obtained information regarding a planned assault on Vilhul spaceport. Name your shit better, the bros. The spaceport is the main hub for travel between Earth oh, and Mars. Oh, man. You're right. I could totally Google, like, a mission map. One of but... our Earth government spaceships eh. is scheduled to land at the spaceport. The attack is probably intended to prevent it from doing so. The assault team is of unknown so protect origin, the spaceships and but shit. it's assumed they were hired by one of the corporations. We want to hire you to protect the terminal from potential enemy attack. Team to you assist will be you. reimbursed, even if the planned assault does not occur. I'm very you lazy, no you're right. I apologize, I hope my laziness does not offend you. I'm so sorry! Not really. It don't matter. None of, none of this matters. Ugh. I need more water. Because I just about drank this whole damn thing. This track's good. I like this. Seems like everything here is normal. Let's go. Fellow MT. But I'm not an MT, so how, am I, how is it a fellow MT? Oh, shit! All our friends are dead! Unidentified squadron approaching. Commence attack. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter for story progression. It's cool. Because once you beat the arena, there's almost no... Like, the only reason you do the story is to complete the story. The garrison is prepared to supply vehicle for us. These guys are on my ass. Yeah, but you can, if you want to get close to me, I'm going to whip out the machine gun. All right, where'd you go, boy? Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come here, boy. I'm going to fuck you up, boy. Oh, now you're turning around. Fine. I guess I'll... Come here. I like, I like fucking with them on their level. There we go. I know there's a resupply vehicle around here, but I don't know where. 
kind of care. All right, fly directly at me. Look at that. Wait, what, what was your plan? What was your plan? <laughs> Too easy. Like, this is a good level for the flying guys. I honestly hate dealing with the flying enemies in most cases. They're kind of annoying. Chase you down with my machine gun, you motherfuckers. Okay, this is fun. Wait, come back! <laughs> oh, there's one. I have yet to see one that can outrun missile. Right, let's see. I want to see where the resupply... Defense target and defense target. Okay, so there's two targets I need to defend, and it's, it doesn't really show where the resupply Enemy is. Bomber approaching. Next to some of those giant cannon siege looking things. Got it, thank you. Enemy bomber, they said? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh shit. That's really big and intimidating, you guys. I got it now. <laughs> Actually, we'd rather take that thing out first. Go down! Oh. Gotta get back in the fight here. There we go, there's two of those down. Is the bomber on his way back yet? Yeah, he is. I don't know, it's really satisfying to just get up. Wait, you know, I could just land on this game. Nope. Oh. I got smashed. There we go, that thing's taken care of. That one. What do we got left? Got anything left? Got any friends left? Is that the resupply vehicle? Yeah, it was. Sweet. All right, is there anybody left? Yep, there he is. Pretty sure you fight an AC in this one, right? No? Damn, okay. For some reason I thought you did. I didn't need to do that resupply at all. I hope it didn't charge me for that. Well, that went pretty well. No special rewards, ammunition costs kind of high. I almost want to buy one of those energy machine guns to start doing stuff like that with, but I don't know. Let's look in the mail. I gotta thank you. Aw, oh, that's so nice that they sent me a little card, some flowers, some chocolate. Yeah. Good work, Raven. Thanks to you, we were able to welcome them to Mars. Now we can finally move forward with our plans. We're the ones that will control Mars from now on. If you cross us, we will take your balls and kill your families. I don't know. I feel like that's the veiled threat behind everything, every time. Let's see. I spent all my money. I got a little more money, but not enough to buy some of the stuff I want. All right. Prophet. A self-proclaimed messiah bent on saving ravens he feels are possessed. His heavily armed AC lacks mobility, but he easily defeats mediocre opponents. Yeah, that thing, that thing has got a hell of an arsenal with those uh, missile launchers on their back. That's, uh, I might have uh, trouble with this one. Especially since those missile, uh, the missile launcher he has fires vertical missiles. That could be trouble for me, I think. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, I didn't know how this one was going to go. I thought I was going to end up spending two hours having to do my dumb... Uh, whatchamacallit. Oh. He's 
He's got so many missiles. Where's my damn building? Oh, I was over it the whole time. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Come on. There we go. Oh, look at the little gun in my dumb chest shooting the guy. It's so nice of them to do that. There we go. So here's how you can skis out. If you get enough height, you can just sit here with a missile launcher and just aim down at them as their AI has no idea what to do about the fact that there's a building there. It's all good, man. Thanks for coming in and hanging out for a bit. It was nice seeing you. It's been a while since I streamed consistently. But I'll be doing this and probably uh, Katamari um, on a semi-regular basis now because I'll have a little more time over the next two months or so. So, Oh, look, he's trying to come visit me. Aw, how cute. So by sitting here like this, I've been able to just blink his ass. Look at that. The problem is that also by doing that, he's still got majority of his ammo. But he's so slow, I shouldn't have any problems getting him with my machine gun at this point. Come on, come on, come on! Oh yeah, this is actually incredibly easy. He's too slow to get away from the bullets, basically. So, you know, that's fine. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I was actually kind of worried about him, but there we go. The Moonlight Blade and Karasawa, yeah, I'm interested in getting those. I've only ever gotten a Karasawa on one save file, and I remember it being the biggest pain in the butt ever. <sighs> 237. All right, just a heads up, you guys. I do actually have things to do today, um, so I'm probably going to stream for about 10 more minutes, um, and then I'm going to get on and uh, not stream. I uh, hate to say it that way. Anyways, uh, yeah, so just letting you know, just so I'm not just like, hey, I'm done streaming, bye. All right, Pollux, youngest of two brothers famous in the arena. Having been compared to his older brother all his life, he's become extremely competitive. He hates his older brother. All right, he's got a decent pistol, and he's got a better missile launcher than what I got. The Karasawa one, I remember being super bad. Um because you basically had to almost leave the mission area and there was a moving thing through the mission you had to kill. I'm glad you had fun, King Thunder. Thanks for the follow and hope, uh, hopefully we'll see you again. Um, uh, there, we have a Twitter where we, we'll announce streams. The, tw uh, the Twitter is uh, Wu-Tang Chicken YT because it's actually more for the YouTube channel. If you follow that, you'll get uh, messages about streams like usually a day in advance. Um, my streaming schedule is kind of random. Whoop. There we go. Sorry, I had to pay attention because I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, thanks a ton for coming out, man. It was fun hanging out with you. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Uh, also, the archive for this will be up on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, it's the same name as the it's the same name as the uh, the Twitch channel uh, Wu Tang Chicken. Um, uh, we have Let's Plays that go up over there as well as uh, stream archives. So there's a there's a ton of different stuff to check out over there too. Okay, cool. Yeah, no pressure whatsoever. Just letting you know. There was something that uh, told me what, how much ammo his extensions had left. Actually, I have problems with this guy. I'm gonna get into 
close enough. Behind me. There you are. Let's rest up here for a bit. Be a good fight. These missiles are causing great pain. Come on, come on, come on. The problem is that he's just moving so well. He's got some good speed to him. Cause problems for me. And in this case, it is. Ah, your missiles are no match for my wall. Where did that wait? Oh, sh Jesus. He's actually doing a really good job keeping me off my toes here. Look at this. He's fast enough that I can't hit him. His missiles are doing enough damage to me that... Uh-oh. Taking heat damage from that pistol of his. I might actually lose this one. Wow! I gotta get that heat down. There we go. So this guy's got my number. That's for damn sure. You say I can go to the edge of the level and force him to <laughs> go out of bounds? I might try that. <laughs> Let's do that. I think you gotta like stand here and fly up really high. I think that's what you gotta do. Did he go out? Yeah, he went out! Yeah! Scumbag tactics are the only way to win. Oh, shit. That was funny. That was really funny, actually. Woo! It's a good stream. It's a good cheat stream. We're cheating. Cheat. God. That's funny. <laughs> more money. We'll go to the shop really quick, do a quick mission, and then that will be it. Let's see. I got 91. I want to buy that. Perfect. Don't have enough for a head. So I'm going to have to hold on to that dam. There we go. Okay, it's not a problem. Yeah, this thing... The missile shoots out and then it splits into four warheads. This thing does a ton of damage. The thing is incredibly powerful in the arena. We'll do the arena. Death Merchant, a salesman who joined the arena in order to hawk his wares. He hopes to drum up sales by putting on his very best part, by putting his very best parts on display for potential customers. All right, so this is the part where we just sit here and shoot and win. Come on. Come on. Oh, he hit me with a jammer. Wow. Good job, dude. Look at that. Oh, now I can see him. So with the trajectory of that, it's really easy to cause a lot of pain to the AI when they just sit at the bottom of this building. You can pretty much do this, and if they somehow survive it, then you go down there and finish them off. Where did you go, buddy? 
Look at him. He's already dead. He's already dead. Scumbag tactics. Bam. I hope it's a little more fair in the new armored core. <laughs> According to my thing, I'm offline. Let me check that. Nope, I'm still on. That was weird. Okay, well, I think that's actually a good place to kill it. So, you know, thanks for coming out, you guys. Um, I'm Jeff, Wu-Tang Chicken, depending on what day of the week it is. <laughs> um... Thanks for checking out the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a follow here. If you want to see this again, um, it will be archived over on our YouTube channel, Wu-Tang Chicken. It's actually, there's a link right below the, the screen there. Um, right below the video, anyways. Uh, if you click that, follow us over there. We have, uh, we have uh, live stream archives as well as uh, original Let's Plays and other funny random stuff we put up there uh hopefully you enjoyed yourself once again i'm jeff and thank you so much for coming out